Silencio! I'm filming. Hey, not you. You can talk. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Please mutter anything that you want. Express everything that you see. Funny, funky, weird. Any questions? Talk away amongst yourselves until I get back to you in the comments below. It's good to have you here. I can't believe it, but this is what we're going to do today. We are going to be repotting, trying to see what is happening in the root ball of my Prostechia cochleata variety lancifolia because huge root ball, massive amount of growths. We have one, two, three, four, five, six new growths. That means we've got another six root systems coming. And on top of that, the Lekka is rising almost above the rim of the pot. All that fun stuff is going on in this pot. And I have new roots coming, even though it is fall. And even though this is a warm to hot grower, we have to go in because six new growths with six new root systems is just not going to work. After having had two years in this pot, which is 18 centimeters. So let's get rid of some obstacles, only the ones that are, you know, dead and dying off. I think I'm going to attack this leaf even though it's not quite ready to go on its own accord. Somebody just shut that gate. Why don't you do it a little bit louder? Thank you. I'm telling you one day I'm going to get myself a flag, a YouTube flag. Be quiet, filming in progress. But my channel isn't big enough. <laughs> one day, I, one day I'm going to do it. When I get to maybe 10,000 subscribers, I'll make myself a YouTube flag that says Silencio. Speaking of targets, how about if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. YouTube seems to make a big deal out of how many subscribers you have. Uh, and for that reason, my channel is a little bit, you know, slow to grow. So any support would be greatly appreciated. And if you're right up there at that button, why don't you also like the video? Because this is going to be a nightmare unless I cut corners, which I'm not planning to do. We are still well ahead of some good daylight. <laughs> I have a headlamp if I need it. But uh, oh boy, this pot is rock hard. Oh, uh, I think it's hammer time see what we can dislodge before we get in there with a the hammer. Let me make sure that I still have you in shot. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. Let's see. I wonder. I've been soaking it with seaweed only for the time being because that's what was on hand. Now that the season is the way it is, I'm, you know, I'm dialing down on my entire buckets of CalMag and seaweed mixed. So I make sure that, you know, I don't go overboard with a bucket of a solution that doesn't apply to the whole collection. So it's only been seaweed today. Oh, but she's had plenty of goodies leading up to this repot because of all the new growths. I wonder if I just, uh, what would happen? What would happen? <laughs> Grabbing on to the oldest oh, leafless bulbs, there is no give at all. Hammer time. Make no mistake that there is no such thing as a gentle repot. If you have to get an orchid out of a pot, the moment you start squeezing, you're crushing the layman. But we have to do what we have to do, otherwise we won't have anything in the pot by the end of winter spring. 22 to 23. Ooh. <laughs> I do feel a jiggle. So there's a bit of give already. Let's apply a little bit more. I do try now that I've, you know, been all around the pot. I try to stay where I don't have live roots as much anyway. These guys are so vigorous in their root growth. Roots are probably everywhere, but there's a bit more of a gap back here. And I just lost the lecker bead. I've got to get it three as a matter of fact. I can't have anybody swallowing that. 
It seems like everything that drops on the floor is fair game. Well, <laughs> gotta be fast. Oh, oh, here she comes. It's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Look at that. <laughs> Photo shoot, money shot. What a root system. What a root system. So, what are we gonna do about this? I have two options. Leave it as is, pot her up into a 20 centimeter pot, or go in and take off a third so that we get another two years out of it. Let me just check something here. <laughs> you see that? That's like not even a whole inch of space left and right. Six new root systems and then 2024 as well. Yeah, we are gonna have to go in and take off a third of the root ball if we want to achieve what we're trying to do and that is longevity. All right, I'm gonna try and get you in a little bit closer so that we can see what I'm doing and hopefully not get my mic so close to the transmitter. The beauty of doing this now is I can get rid of the support. I don't need it, I've never needed it. The spikes on this orchid, they are very upright. They hold themselves beautifully. So do the growths. They grow bolt upright with a little bit of training. So a little bit of a tickle on the feet. Loosen up that leka that is in there. Take note, I have a mix of large and small leka for this very vigorous, thirsty orchid. And also I wanted to show you, you see this? Yeah, when you bash the layman and then pull an orchid out of the pot, it was a viable root, but you can see with a root system like this, ugh, there is no threat besides all that other good stuff coming. <laughs> she will be back in a repot session in two years, no doubt. There is even some old ceramics stuck from days gone by where I didn't disturb the root ball. Oh, we're going to get rid of some fern roots. <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot on this orchid. Awesome. I'm going to turn her around because I need to keep an eye on the new growths and not get ahead of myself. All the action is in around the front here. Don't want to be destroying that. Collateral damage is to be expected. The fun about this orchid is she is super forgiving. It's going to be okay. Because what we're going to do now is going to be more radical than breaking the odd root tip here or there. But you can see there's more. Hang on. You can see there's more coming. So <laughs> whatever we're going to do, it's not going to be so painful. But a little bit of a warning. If you're squeamish about seeing good roots being cut, then... Check the timestamps because good roots are going to be cut. This is how I do a full on root ball cleanup. She's making my life very easy because the middle hasn't got that many roots. We're not going to be here with the headlamps on, <laughs> working into the night. Another good thing is as well, she branches on old roots. Yeah, these orchids, I gotta, you, you just have to love orchids that aren't as fussy and they perform. Besides, she's super fragrant. She is the one that I have in my collection that has my favorite pseudobulbs of all the collection of my orchids. Her pseudobulbs are amazing. So, Figaro. This is just the beginning, just to get a feel for how far up I want to go. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna get you even lower and then we're gonna fiddle around a little bit more at the base here and clean that up really, really well.
As I'm cleaning off the moss, I have to be super careful about the roots that are growing in the moss. So this is a little bit of a fiddle, but the moss has to come off because, you know, it is that time of year that it's gonna get cold. There's gonna be more humidity in the air. I don't want that moss to ruin this gorgeous orchid. Woohoo! Always such a feeling of success to get a bit of fern out, including the root ball. <laughs> now, while it looks like I'm roughing it with this one, I am only reaching for old pseudobulbs. Strong, firm, older pseudobulbs so that I'm not trying to hold on to her with the tender new ones. Got to Sorry for that jiggle. We got to get in there. That's okay. Get out that little old flur. Let's see what we're up against. All right, when it gets a little bit tough, we'll make ourselves a little slice. This one's not quite ready to come off, but I like it when I can get at it. These sheaths are somewhat soft in their structure and they can rot relatively easy. Even though I have a breezy day today, still, while we're at it. Okay, what else can we do? I really want to get in there. I was being so careful trying to keep my mess contained, but oof, cleaning is cleaning whether you have roots here or there or elsewhere, whether you're cleaning more containers than you are anything else. So what I'm doing now is just trying to get more into the center. There are viable roots in there, but it's all about creating more space in the pot, thinking ahead, planning ahead. And if I can remove any dead roots that I can see with a vigorous root system like this, the dead ones look like the live ones, unless you can see exposed velamen. Everything looks pretty much like, you know, it's viable, but no harm done getting in there and seeing if we can't just remove a little bit more. Because unless she shocks me, <laughs> which, you know, orchids, we don't need to be doing this again next year. This is pretty firm. I'm going to keep all of this intact. And I think we're pretty much done. Wow. Kelsa, please. Let's see what we can flush out. Well, that's a gaggle of dead roots right here. Whoa, I just dropped a lecker bead and all King did was look at it. I'm just keeping an eye on King while I'm doing this. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, I'm going to give the root ball a good technical sloshing. <laughs> The technique of sloshing, clean water and up and down, you know, sloshing. <laughs> the purpose of which is to remove loose debris. If necessary, repeat. We won't know if it's necessary until we repeat by removing this and replacing with fresh clean water.
Ta-da! Still a little bit coming off. Now, not everything is going to come off, obviously, but if we can avoid getting all this into the pot, that's great. So the correct technique of sloshing up and down, not as high as the rhizome. Keep it below the rhizome. You're welcome. <laughs> Dog hair in the pot is optional. It's not a must. It's not the magic that makes these orchids grow. <laughs> okay, right. We have ourselves this much of a space off the root ball. So we're going to add a little bit of large lecker at the base for crocking, for filling in the blanks. Not too much because eventually I want roots down there. This orchid being so, so thirsty during the warmer months of my year, I settle the pot onto the water that is within the reservoir. And then two days later, I can do it again. So I've got her a little bit lower in the pot for reasons. Low is good, we can raise her up. Too high is bad because oh, we have to start again. And even though it's a beautiful day on the patio, who wants to do that? And of course, she is bang smack in the middle because that's how she was potted before. I don't have any roots that are making my life difficult. But now I'm going to fill around with small lecker. And this is a little bit of a, you know, tedious job because we don't have that much space. So it's not like I can go in with a cup and just fill around. This is just bit by bit. And then give her a bit of a shake as we go along. There we go. And so on and so forth. You see, if you pour in too much lecker in a situation like this, too soon, too fast, it's just going to cause lecker gridlock and nothing is going to settle anywhere. So yeah, it's a little bit like, you know, what are you doing, occupational therapy? Mm-hmm, that's exactly what I'm doing, occupational therapy, because this is so satisfying. All right, let's drain this pot. If I didn't mention it before, she is now in a 20 centimeter pot. And as far as I'm concerned, grow and bloom, baby, grow and bloom until 2024. It's maybe when we see that root system again, should nothing go wrong, of course. Now, let me see if I can take you down another level and let's give the pot a little bit of a turn and I'll show you the end result. It is inspection time. Let's just say if she starts lifting herself out of the pot again like she did in the past two years, she's got plenty of time and space to do that. She can come up as high as she wants. Let's also inspect the roots right here. I hope you can see them, those, that little group there. If they're going to dry out or if they're going to be okay, I think they'll be okay. The new roots from this growth, that's perfectly fine as they come and crawl over. What have we got going on here? Looks pretty close to the edge right here, but she does have, uh, well, two centimeters. So she can grow a growth there. That would be 2023, maybe 24, depending from which direction the growth comes out. If we have one going left, we've got space. If we have one coming out to the right, we've got space. This one has space as well, even more than the other one. In the back, there's not much going on. Maybe I can do a rhizome cut back here in the spring of 2023. What have we got going on here? Here comes another eye. <laughs> Gosh, I love this orchid. It just, it's such a giver. So we've got space for that eye. That's good. And then we have this growth right here also has plenty of space, no matter which direction it shoots out. Plus when the roots come, they can go straight down. Yeah, we've covered our bases. Here's another growth back there. 
Not sure that's going to amount to much, but still, it will be a storage structure if nothing else. It's a little bit further behind. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I can see through all the pseudobulbs. Most of the moss has been dealt with. The ferns are gone, even though some of the roots of the ferns are still in the pot. All these little contemplations on my mind. That was my quick checklist and I've just filled the pot with seaweed again as before because you know active root growth the hormones are busy so let's support them with a little bit of seaweed while they are at it and this is the reason why this orchid is my favorite favorite orchid when it comes to pseudobulbs oh look at those look at these beautiful beautiful structures Mm -mm -mm. Even the older ones are not too shabby. Even the older ones aren't. Gotta love me a prostekia. Back on the shelf she goes, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I appreciate that you're here. Thank you for spending some time with me on my patio while it is still acceptable and there's enough sunshine to go around. Please have yourself a beautiful day. However, one condition though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.